As an athlete, Palmer is credited with making the game of golf popular in the 60s and 70s, inspiring generations of golfers. During his career, he won 62 PGA titles and seven major championships, along with four masters. Palmer was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame and has two PGA championships named after him. Now, aside from golfing, Mr. Palmer gave back, raising funds to build the Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children near downtown Orlando. He then went on to build Winnie Palmer Hospital for Women and babies, which is named after his first wife. He passed away yesterday in Pittsburgh, not far from his hometown. After suffering complications from heart problems, the King was 87 years old. News 6 Sports Director David Pingalore joins us now live from the newsroom in Ping. Arnold Palmer was no doubt a huge influence on Central Florida. Yeah, we're, we've been talking about this uh, all morning long and of course last evening going into uh, this morning, early this morning uh, during our late newscast. But Mr. Palmer certainly was an unbelievable man, a uh, uh, entrepreneur. I mean, he, t he took his golf game and he built a, a worldwide business. And uh, but he, what you just mentioned there was what he did for Central Florida and the hospitals. And I got a number of opportunities to spend time with Mr. Palmer over the years. I came here in 2007, met him in 2008 went out to the desert as you can see right here five years ago spent some time with him sat down with him in an interview got a chance to play some golf with him but you know you, you just take away what a passionate man he was for not only golf but for charities across Central Florida and really across the world. He gave back a lot of money and a lot of his time. Certainly a genuine man that will be missed that passed away again at the age of 87. I did catch up with him and here's a little montage of some of my interactions with Mr. Palmer. You know what I love about you when and I've been watching this golf tournament since you know I was you know a little guy playing golf. You love standing right there on the 18th hole as the winner walks up the from the green to see you shake your hand, give you a hug. What is that experience like for you? Well, it's always fun because I've been there. I, I know what it feels like and I know what he feels like coming up with an opportunity to win the golf tournament. I mean, you're there each and every year doing that. Well, I try to be. Man of your stature, you've done a lot and, and golf really has afforded you a lot to do for people. No question. As a matter of fact, uh, the golf tournament is sort of the vehicle for really getting the medical center started and we use it as a, as a supplement, a great supplement to the medical center and to the hospital. Winnie Palmer uh, Hospital for Babies uh, is really great. An honor and privilege to uh, meet Mr. Palmer through the years and spend some quality time with him. He will be missed, of course, the next Arnold Palmer Invitational Tournament this coming spring in March at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Guys? It's going to be very different out there with him uh, not being there. Pink, thank For you so much. Us. Oh, yeah. yeah, no doubt. Well, we continue our team coverage with sports reporter Jamie Say, who's had the privilege of covering Mr. Palmer for years. Jamie spoke to Palmer's daughter, who says her father was humble and always put others before himself. Take a listen. Arnold Palmer was the people's champion. Fans flocked to him even long after he retired. Pictures or autographs? Mr. Palmer would always oblige. I spoke to someone who perhaps knew him best, his daughter, Amy Saunders, and she told me her dad was just as genuine on the course as he was in private. How would I describe my father? Wow, I guess the first first word that comes to mind is, you know, humble. You know, I think that is one of the most endearing things about him is that he, um, you know, he, he doesn't ever put on airs. Um, he's always been approachable. Um, he's always very honest. And I think that people, you know, really can relate to that. Did he always have a commitment to service? I think it's something that both my mother and father always felt was, um, you know, more important than than yourself is being able to uh, to do things that are significant to other people. And for proof of that, look no further than the two hospitals in downtown Orlando that not only bear Mr. Palmer's name, but he championed for nearly 30 years. Jamie Say, News 6.
Jamie, thanks so much. Now, there has been a lot of reaction to Arnold Palmer's death on social media. With nearly half a million tweets, Palmer's passing is one of the most talked about stories on Twitter right now. News 6 reporter Sashel Saunders joins us live in the studio now with more on how the golf community and others are reacting. Sashel? Yeah, Justin Kirsten, if there is any way the world can collectively grieve together, it's on social media and people from all over of all calibers shared their profound sadness over Arnold Palmer's death. The reaction first came from Twitter. Golf greats such as Tiger Woods paying homage to the man he considered the greatest. It's hard to imagine golf without you, he wrote, or anyone more important to the game than the king. Rival and friend Jack Nicklaus also writing in a statement, Arnold transcended golf. He was more than a golfer or even a great golfer. He was an icon. The love would continue to pour in from America's highest office, the president remembering Palmer's generosity and a private putting lesson. Florida's governor also mentioning Palmer's giving spirit. Orange County's firefighters, OPD, and both Mayor Buddy Dyer and Teresa Jacobs offering their condolences. And then expressions of love from sports figures of all backgrounds. Skier Lindsey Vaughn tweeting that his smile brightened every room. The Orlando Magic calling Palmer a champion. And most fitting, golfer Ricky Fowler saying, Legends never die. You will live on forever, Arnie. That was Sashaw Saunders reporting. We'll be continuing to remember the life of Arnold Palmer throughout the day. And for more news on the go, you can always check our website. That's clickorlando.com, powered by News 6.